It's been a right busy year for biking in 2019. Let's go with a look back at some of the highlights. The year started with my first go trial riding down at Off the Curb in Dorking. We were riding these Fantic 250s which were great for newbies. We were riding around all the little green lanes in the Dorking area, getting nice and muddy. Off the Curb were great at giving us some basic training to really enjoy our time off-road. I can highly recommend them if you haven't been off-road yet. Of course, as with any off-road riding, you yeah, have the odd mishap. In 2019 we camped at the MCN Festival in uh, Peterborough, it was a really good laugh. Lots going on there like Dirt Quake, there was the Wall of Death and loads of good stuff there to check out, highly recommend it. Also got to test ride some great bikes, I checked out this new Zero electric bike and Mary checked out uh, a Ducati Scramble. One of the big highlights last year was a work trip over to Brisbane in Australia. I managed to get a couple of days to rent out this MT-09 explore the area down around the Gold Coast and a bit further north of Dabuna Mountain. You can check out the full lowdown of this trip in the video linked right here. I had a great time there, it's just a shame to hear all about the bushfires going on right now. I hired the MT-09 from Rendis Bike who did excellent service. I loved the bike, really enjoyed it, quite happy to get one myself. The only real criticism is maybe the suspension is a bit basic, but then they do do the Olim's SP version, which is well worth a look I reckon. Brisbane itself and the Gold Coast were amazing, great place to check out, lots of nice roads around there. And of course I had to stop and check out some of the biker haunts over there. The Manglorious Cafe was great and the ride up there was amazing. The next big trip was with Elam East London Advanced Motorcyclists. The group does a regular trip to the circuit to Follenbury for some circuit based training. However, this year a few of us went out early for a few days to explore northern France and Belgium. In Dinant it was the home of the saxophone, hence all the weird ass saxophones. There's some great riding out there, some great laugh of all the group. The weather was a bit hit and miss at times, but we still enjoyed ourselves riding down through the Ardennes. France itself was dead for the holiday season, but we got to explore lots and check out loads of great places. Pierre Fonds was really nice. It's a great little tattooist actually here. Unfortunately, the circuit day itself I had absolutely pissed down, so we didn't get to really push things too much. For my daughter's birthday treat, we test rode this big Harley for shits and giggles. It was a good laugh and she really enjoyed it. After hiring many Harleys in the States, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for one. Mary Tess rode this Enfield Interceptor, which I really loved. Definitely something we'll be looking into more this year. Definitely a big highlight for the year was this trip over to Yosemite in California. The place is absolutely amazing, stunning, beautiful. The roads, the scenery, mountain climbs, everything. It's just amazing. Oh, look at this. Look at it. I hired this big Yamaha Super Tenere from Eagle Rider. The brilliant bike got on really well with it. It was perfect for touring. The trip entailed three days riding from San Francisco over to Yosemite National Park and then up to Lake Tahoe and then back into San Francisco via Sacramento. Amazing trip. You can check out the full lowdown on these videos linked here. Of 
course, as well as trips away, I was commuting daily into London. It's easy to take for granted my ride past some of the key London sites. Not everything went quite so perfectly. There was one mishap. Thankfully, not too much damage and no injuries. I only witnessed one minor mishap from somebody else. Thankfully, it wasn't too serious and everything was all sorted out quite promptly. What the hell? Throughout the year, there were many ride outs all over the place with various groups from Elam and London bikers and other mates. Some of them even led myself. The year finished with the annual Ace Cafe Christmas Toy Run, where me and my daughter decorated the bike and helped deliver presents to kids in hospital. It was a great finish to the year. I hope your year has been great as well. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and do check out some of the other videos I have going. Ride safe. Bye. Thank you.